Within 24 hours, Congress changed their stand on Sunday. Now, Congress leader Jairam Ramesh had tweeted and that reads as follows. The Indian National Congress condemns the brutal attacks on the people of Israel. The Indian National Congress has always believed that the legitimate aspirations of the Palestinian people for a life of self-respect, equality and dignity must be fulfilled only through a process of dialogue and negotiations while ensuring the legitimate national security interests of the Israeli people as well. Now, violence of any type never provides a solution and must stop. This was the tweet coming in from Jairam Ramesh on Sunday. This was seen as a balanced comment from the party which has always stood for the rights of Palestine but all changed after, after the CWC meeting uh, on Monday which was yesterday. Their statement read, the CWC expresses its dismay and anguish on the war that has broken out in the Middle East where over a thousand people have been killed in the last two days. Sources confirm this change in once came with many leaders like Rahul Gandhi and KC Venu Gopal uh, who felt the CWC resolution must clearly reflect this fact. We are going back to CNN News 18's Pallavi Ghosh who continues to be with us on the phone line. Pallavi, one might ask what exactly is the confusion there? Why changing your stance all of a sudden? But I, you know, we are, uh, if you just step back in history, there are pictures. I remember, I think it was during the non alliance Summit when Indira Gandhi was the Prime Minister. You had Yasir Arafat coming down to uh, New Delhi and he had attended that particular meeting. And I remember there's this famous embrace which took place where Arafat thanked Indira Gandhi profusely for having uh, supported uh, the cause of the Palestinians. I think inside the uh, Congress Working Committee meeting, there was a sense which was building up is that the statement should not make out to look that we've abandoned Palestine. Time. While yes, they are condemning, they ac accepted the fact that Hamas is a terror organization and therefore acts of terror cannot be accepted. There were many like Rahul Gandhi who felt that the earlier statement did send to se uh, seem to send out a message that the party was not profusely supporting Palestine. So the second statement, uh, the attempt behind that was to make a distinction between supporting Hamas. So that was very categorical. There's just no way we can support it. And we have to condemn it and stand by the Israelis at this point of time. But at the same time, also send out a message to Palestinians that the Congress party continues to stand for them. Right, Pallavi. And we also have CNN News 18's Aman Sharma who continues to be with us on the broadcast. Aman, coming back to the point of caste census as Congress was planning to use it as a trump card, how exactly are we saying that it is going to dent their stance and now are going to divide their limited Hindu voters as well? See, yesterday when we saw Mr. Rahul Gandhi come out with you know, all Congress chief ministers and announced that every Congress ruled state will now have a caste census. This is also a ploy expected to, you know, uh, bring the OBC voters back towards the Congress in the key states of Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Chhattisgarh, the Hindi heartland state. And uh, in a way, what the BJP feels, this is a ploy to divide the Hindu vote bank, to take back the OBC voter in a way to, uh, to entice the OBC voter to vote for the Congress, saying that there will be a caste census and maybe OBCs will get more representation and reservation in the time to come. The BJP has been strongly countering this. We saw Prime Minister Narendra Modi earlier at a rally in Madhya Pradesh say that th this th such steps by the Congress are to divide the Hindu vote. So the BJP has left nothing to imagination saying this is what the Congress is trying to do. Now with the latest CWC resolution by the Congress, which is openly batting for Palestine, the BJP is now taking a stand that look, this is completely appeasement politics. The BJP is batting for the minority community votes in these elections. And this will be used by the BJP as a ploy to unite its Hindutva vote bank, not let it split and say that look how Congress is backing for minorities and for appeasement politics and that changed its stand within 24 hours soon after the election announcement in the five states came and the Congress held a press conference out of the CWC and they, it is also being heard that the, there are even divisions within the Congress on the CWC resolution which has come today. Some leaders are not happy with the CWC resolution wording and they wanted a more balanced statement and some even questioned that what is the need for another statement when already Mr. Jairam Ramesh had tweeted out a statement on Sunday. But this second statement issued in the CWC right. resolution, this paragraph which has found the mention, is definitely going to become a big political issue in the upcoming election. Right, Aman and Pallavi. Thank you so much for bringing in all those crucial details. We'll keep coming back to you for more updates on that big political story. Right.